After studying this module, you shall be able to know the need for nitrogen fixation, classify the three processes responsible for fixing nitrogen from biosphere, identify the benefits of nitrogen fixation, learn various problems associated with industrial fixation, know the factors limiting biological nitrogen fixation. Introduction Nitrogen is an essential element contained in many biomolecules and is therefore necessary for growth and development of the plant. This element is abundantly available in the Earth's atmosphere in the form of dinitrogen gas, yet most organisms are unable to metabolize nitrogen because it is relatively inert. Now the question comes, why is nitrogen inert? It is inert because it has high ionization potential, which is approximately 15.6 electron volt. It has negative electron affinity, which is minus 1.6 electron volt. It has high bond dissociation energy, which is approximately 225 kilocalorie per mole. It has large energy difference of 22.9 electron volt between the HOMO and the LUMO. Filth molecular orbital are lower in energy, less than equal to minus 15.6 electron volt and its vacant orbitals are high, greater than equal to minus 7 electron volt. And it is very difficult to add or remove electrons from the dinitrogen molecule in its ground state. Now what is the need for nitrogen fixation? Nitrogen is a critical limiting element which is used for the growth and production of plants. It is a major constituent of chlorophyll, the most imperative pigment needed to carry out photosynthesis. Likewise, it is a vital component in amino acids which are the key building units of proteins. Besides this, it is also present in other vital biomolecules such as ATP and nucleic acids. Even though it is one of the most available elements, plants cannot extract nitrogen directly from the atmosphere and can only utilize reduced form of this element. Therefore, nitrogen fixation, whether natural or synthetic, is necessary for all forms of life. This has been represented in figure. Moreover, it is necessary for agriculture and production of fertilizer. It is also an essential process in the production of explosive. Example, gunpowder, dynamite, TNT, etc. Coming to the processes responsible for nitrogen fixation in biosphere. Typically, all the nitrogen fixation happening in the biosphere can be attributed to three processes. Atmospheric fixation, industrial fixation and biological fixation. In atmospheric nitrogen fixation, the non-biological nitrogen fixation can happen by electric discharge which is lightning in the troposphere and by the cosmic radiation in the stratosphere. Equation involved is given here. It accounts for only 10% of nitrogen fixation. The high energy of lightning breaks nitrogen molecules apart and aids the nitrogen atoms to combine with the oxygen forming nitrogen oxides. They dissolve in rainwater forming nitrates and are carried to the ground with the rain and then plants use these nitrates to grow. Industrial nitrogen fixation. This is the Haber-Bosch process. This process directly synthesizes ammonia from nitrogen and hydrogen. In 1909, the German chemist named Fritz Haber ascertained that atmospheric nitrogen could be combined with the hydrogen under extremely high temperature and pressure condition, which is catalyzed by an iron catalyst to yield an extremely high proportion of ammonia which is the starting point for the production of a wide range of nitrogen compounds. This process was made commercially feasible by Carl Bosch and now called as the Haber-Bosch method or the synthetic ammonia process. The Haber-Bosch process is now one of the largest and most basic processes of the chemical industry throughout the world. And this is represented in figure. NH3 so produced can be used directly as fertilizer but most of it is further processed to urea and ammonium nitrate. Besides this, combustion of fossil fuels, natural gas, coal, crude oil and products produced from the crude oil such as petrol, diesel, gasoline contributes to nitrogen fixation. Now, what are the problems associated with industrial nitrogen fixation? There are many consequences of using industrial nitrogen fixation which are as follows. Industrial production of NH3 is expensive transportation and distribution of fertilizer is labor intensive 
application of nitrogen on the soil usually con causes contamination of adjacent water sources. Use of fossil fuels for the energy required to produce this fertilizer results in emission of carbon dioxide contributing to global warming. Excessive use of these chemical fertilizers upsets the nitrogen cycle and consequently led to surface water as well as groundwater pollution, thereby harming ecosystem. Enlarged heaps of nitrogen fertilizers to fresh water as well as marine ecosystem have caused eutrophication, the process whereby these systems cause a proliferation of microorganisms, particularly algae. Coming on to the biological nitrogen fixation, abbreviated as BNF, biological nitrogen fixation plays an essential part in providing nitrogen for other forms of life on Earth, since it contributes about 60% of the total nitrogen fixed in the biogeochemical nitrogen cycle. BNF is therefore called a key for sustenance of agriculture and reduction of soil fertility decline. In 1909, Bejrenik discovered the BNF which is carried out by a specific group of prokaryotes. These organisms utilize an enzyme called nitrogenase to catalyze the conversion of atmospheric nitrogen to ammonia. Plants can conventionally absorb ammonia to synthesize the aforementioned nitrogenous biomolecules. This biological process, though less efficient, occurs at room temperature and pressure. Therefore, the natural process of BNF deals an economic means for the reduction of environmental problems and improvement of internal resources. In this process, microorganisms transform atmospheric nitrogen to ammonia, a syllable by associated plants. These microorganisms need 16 moles of adenosine triphosphate, known as ATP, for the reduction of each mole of nitrogen and they obtain this energy by oxidation of organic molecules. Free living microorganisms which are non-photosynthetic in nature receive these molecules from other organisms, while photosynthetic microorganisms such as cyanobacteria use sugars synthesized in the process of photosynthesis. Associative and symbiotic nitrogen fixing microorganisms obtain these compounds from their host plants, rhizospheres. A symbiotic bacteria or free living bacteria fixes only 30% of nitrogen. Symbiotic bacteria fixes 70% of nitrogen and live in symbiotic relationship with plants of the legume family. Example, alpha, alpha and soya beans. Figure depicts the biological nitrogen fixation. Biological nitrogen fixation, two kinds of nitrogen fixing bacteria are known. Free living or non-symbiotic bacteria, including the cyanobacteria or blue-green algae, anabena and nostoc, and genera such as azobacter, Bigerinchia and Clostridium and mutualistic or symbiotic bacteria such as rhizobium associated with leguminous plants, example various members of the pea family and certain azoperilium species associated with cereal grasses. Nitrogen fixation by free living bacteria. There are many heterotopic bacteria which reside in the ground oil and are able for the fixation of significant levels of nitrogen without the direct interaction with other beings. Examples for this type of nitrogen fixing bacteria include species of Azobacter, Bacillus, Clostridium and Klebsiella. These organisms search their own source of energy either by oxidation of organic molecules released by other organisms or from decomposition. Some free living organisms have chemolithotropic capabilities which help them to utilize inorganic compounds as a source of energy. Their contribution to global nitrogen fixation rates is supposed to be less than generally observed due to the lack of suitable carbon and energy sources for these microorganisms. Associative nitrogen fixation. Species of azospiril form close association with several members of the grasses that includes agriculturally economic and vital cereal crops such as rice, barley, oat, wheat and corn. These bacteria fix appreciable amount of nitrogen within the rhizosphere of the host plants. The degree of nitrogen fixation is limited by various elements including soil temperature. Azospirillum species thrive in more temperate or tropical environments. 
the power of the host plants to provide a rhizosphere environment the power of the host plant to provide a rhizosphere environment low in oxygen pressure the availability of host photosynthates for the bacteria the competitiveness of the bacteria and the efficiency of nitrogen symbiotic nitrogen fixation many organisms fix nitrogen symbiotically by partnering with the host plants sugars are produced by plants via photosynthesis that are utilized by the nitrogen fixing microorganisms for the energy it required for nitrogen fixing in exchange for these carbon sources the micro provides fixed nitrogen to the host plant for its growth water fern azolas with symbiosis with the cyanobacterium anabena azolae is a type of example for this type of nitrogen fixation even though the symbiotic partners described above play a vital role in the worldwide ecology of nitrogen fixation till date relationships between legumes and rhizobium and bradyrhizobium bacteria are considered to be the most important nitrogen fixing symbiotic associations legume nodule formation the symbiotic nitrogen fixing bacteria invade into the host plant's root system where they multiply and stimulate the formation of root nodules enlargements of plant cell and bacteria in intimate association the bacteria then start to fix the nitrogen required by the plant present in the nodules access to the fixed nitrogen helps the plant to synthesize leaves fortified with nitrogen which can be recycled throughout the plant this results in increased photosynthetic capacity which in turn yields nitrogen rich seeds it is quite amazing to note that the outcomes of legumes which have not been nodulated especially when nitrogen poor soil is used for the plant growth the plant produce are usually low in nitrogen content and yield a very little seed benefits of nitrogen fixation atmospheric nitrogen fixation is converted to ammonium ion and other nitrogen compounds that can be used by plants it results in increase of soil fertility by nitrates and nitrites nitrogen fixing organisms increase the humus content of the soil and water holding capacity of the soil beneficial organisms like rhizobium cyanobacteria blue green algae and fungi increase their number in soil plants avail nitrogen by soil and animals can obtain required nitrogen from plants that's how nitrogen from a biotic pool is incorporated in a biotic pool but there are factors which are limiting the biological nitrogen fixation first is the adific factors which includes excessive soil moisture drought soil acidity and deficiency of phosphorus calcium and molybdenum other is the climatic factor which is due to extreme temperature and the availability of light also there are biotic factors such as excessive defoliation of host plants crop competition insects and nematodes nitrogen cycle maintains a pool of biologically available nitrogen biologically available nitrogen is restored and reused during the metabolic processes of different species in the process called nitrogen cycle the first step in the cycle is fixation reduction of the atmospheric nitrogen by nitrogen fixing bacteria to yield ammonia that is nh3 or ammonium nh4 positive this ammonia can be used by most living organisms but soil bacteria derive their energy by oxidizing ammonia to nitrite that is no2 minus and ultimately nitrate that is no3 minus these bacteria are so abundant and active that nearly all ammonia reaching the soil is oxidized to nitrate the chemical process is known as nitrification the nitrates and nitrites so formed is taken up and readily reduced to ammonia by plants and bacteria through the action of nitrate and nitrite reductases this ammonia is incorporated into amino acid by plants and animals then use plants as a source of amino acids to build their proteins when organisms die microbial degradation of their proteins returns ammonia to the soil where nitrifying bacteria convert it back to nitrite and nitrate thus a balance is maintained between fixed nitrogen and atmospheric nitrogen by bacteria that convert nitrate to nitrogen under anaerobic condition a process called denitrification 
Now coming on to the summary, in summary, nitrogen is an essential nutrient for the growth and development of plant, but is unavailable in its most prevalent form as atmospheric nitrogen. Plants instead depend upon combined or fixed forms of nitrogen such as ammonia and nitrate. A lot of this nitrogen is provided to cropping system in the form of industrially produced nitrogen fertilizers. Usage of these fertilizers has led to worldwide ecological problems such as establishment of coastal dead zones. On the other hand, biological nitrogen fixation provides a natural means of supplying nitrogen for plants. It is an important part of many aquatic as well as terrestrial ecosystems across our biosphere.